morning and currently I am in the Lake District to do my 1000k review on the Canyon Endurance and I'm going to start climbing up this next hill, Newlands Pass and when I get to the top I'm going to answer all the questions that get asked about the bike and hopefully if you are thinking about buying one of these bikes the answers there might be there for you before you purchase them so stay tuned I'm going to quickly show you around the bike get up the climb and then go through the questions so stay with me and uh, I'll try and help you out. Let's go. Oh, I'm at the top. Yeah, so some of the questions I get asked about the canyon. The first thing I'm going to tell you, because I get asked this a lot, is if you get in the stealth colour, it's not black. A lot of questions I get asked is, oh, have you got these marks and these blemishes on the, the frame? I don't know if it's, I should send it back. And no, you shouldn't send it back because it's actually stealth, not black. So all them blemishes and all that you can see are just like how they've done the carbon in the frame. You can see the carbon, you can see the imperfections in the carbon. And all they're doing is putting like a clear coating protector over that. And that's what you get. It does look dark from a distance or dark grey. But when you get close, you can see them imperfections, which I'll put over while I'm talking now of mine and uh, hopefully it'll come through on the camera. Yeah, so that's one of the biggest things I get asked and I think people panic and think they're getting a black bike, but remember it's a stealth bike, so you're seeing them imperfections. But it still, for me, looks like a stunning looking bike. Far better than the white one or the blue one you can get. So if you are worried about what it's gonna look like, I suppose you could go for the white one or the blue one if you wanted it like a painted color. Well, let's get on to the next ones. So another thing I get asked quite a lot is about the seat post. Is it comfortable? Is, do you feel safe on it with it only being two prong carbon? And yes, like I said, I'm 18 stone and it takes my weight, weight fine. And it actually is the most comfortable riding bike I've ever rode. It is an absolute joy to ride, especially over these bumpy, horrible roads that I've got in the Lake District. Uh, I can easily do 30 to 40 miles and not really feel the soreness in my uh, back end and uh, yeah so yeah don't worry about the seat post it is comfortable it is strong and uh, yeah that's a couple of the things I get asked another thing I get asked is does the bike come already tubeless or with tubes yes the bike comes with tubes in but the uh, wheels are already taped up all you have to do is put the valves in and the sealant so it's absolutely easy to set up tubeless if you want to go that way. I've got mine set up tubeless. I always have my wheels set up tubeless. I absolutely love tubeless and I highly recommend you go tubeless if uh, you are buying this bike. Like I said, the tape's already in there. You just take the two tubes out, put the valves in and then put your sealant in. Easy as that. So on this bike, you get the Ultegra Di2 and uh, I've never had Di2 Ultegra before and it's got the buttons on the handlebars and I do find it really good DI2 uh, a lot better mechanical and I find the shifting really good the bike comes with a 1134 cassette on the back so you get plenty of gears the one thing I've done on the front uh, the crank it, because it comes a 5236 I live in the Lake District and there's no flat around here and I've always had a compact set of 5034 so i was given an ultegra 5034 so i've changed mine and it's an absolute easy task to change it a couple of screws knock it out and then put the other one in so if you're in two minds you have to get the clx or the, just the cf i've got the cf the only difference i can notice is the brake discs and that the handlebars are fully integrated and i'll put over here how mine looks and you can't hardly tell that the wires come out of the bottom and then into the frame it's nearly all integrated so 
if you are thinking about it, obviously the carbon is meant to be a better quality frame on this CLX, but I have not, no problems with this frame. This is for, this frame is absolute unreal, and obviously for the extra 700, 800 pound more for the CLX, you're probably not getting much money for your value for money. So I'd highly recommend getting this one. So like I said, I've done over a thousand K on this bike now, and every single K on it. I've absolutely loved, absolute a joy, every single K on it. The comfortablest bike I've ever sat on, the lightest bike I've ever sat on, and the best climbing bike I've ever been on. It's just absolute joy. And uh, like I said, I bought the bike. I'm not promoted by Canyon or anything. I'm not, they don't give me anything for saying that. It's just what I think. And uh, yeah, everything on the bike is superb. I've not had hardly any problems. The only problem I had, I had to get one of the brakes bled and I spoke to Canyon on, that's another problem what people say is, people say because it's buy it straight buying off the internet and you can't go in the shop to get it, what's customer service like? And the customer service on the chat, you go on their website and go on their chat and they instantly get all the anything, any problems you've got, they either tell you or they sort it out for you. I mean like I said I had the brake bleed and they just said take it into a, sh a your local shop, I did. The, the local shop had spoke to Canyon and the Canyon sorted it out for me, I didn't have to pay anything so yeah stuff like that hopefully they'd sort it out for you, they did for me and uh, yeah it's easy, you can speak to them about anything on that chat and it's like instant, it's like Monday to Friday, they don't work the weekends but like I said they get all these straight away. So if you are thinking about buying the Canyon Endurance CF8 I would highly recommend it, I really would. I mean for climbing it's an absolute joy I mean look where I've come from it even gets a fat man like me up so it's light it's nimble it feels comfortable especially when you're going up the mills you can get up off the saddle and it feels strong you know the, the handlebars feel absolute easy to control and just everything so nice to feel, feel in the hands so yeah I would highly recommend getting one and if this sort of video has helped you please like and subscribe because i've got loads of videos coming up of the canyon endurance up the lake district and i've already done loads so take a look through the catalog i'll put two at the end of this video and uh yeah i'm going to descend down there now and uh yeah if this video has helped like i said like and subscribe and if you've got any questions about the bike please put it in the comments i'll answer every single question asked <laughs> I'll find out for you. So if you are in doubt and you want to buy this bike, then put it in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.